I'm Paul Carlson and today we're going to show you some steps on how to install this Symmetrix AG3000 meter in a piece of pipe. Measuring the length of the meter, you're going to want to have a gasket, your ground ring, another gasket, your meter, gasket, ground ring, and gasket, and measure the full length of the meter, including the meter, the end bells, and all the gaskets and ground rings. So we have about 11 and 1 8 inch here. Write that down because that's the length that you're going to need to cut out of the straight pipe when we uh, get ready to put the meter in. When you're ready to cut your pipe, remember you need about two feet of straight pipe for this installation. And you're going to start at about eight inches on the upstream side. You're going to want to draw a nice straight clean line around the pipe. And 11 and an eighth inches down. You're going to want another nice clean straight line around the pipe. Make sure that you cut enough pipe out that the entire meter assembly cleanly fits within the piece of pipe that you have cut out. Now, we would recommend that you use a cutting tool, something like a cutting wheel, maybe a saw, so that you don't end up with big pieces of slag on the end of your pipe that you could cut into your end bell which would damage a meter and void your warranty. When you cut the piece of pipe, Make sure that your meter is, uh, we recommend, 10 feet away from the cut so that you don't have uh, any possible heat damage that could happen to the, uh, to the meter itself. Once the flanges are welded onto the pipe, make sure that there's nothing that sticks past the end of the flange that may cut into the end bell of the meter. Again, the end bell of the meter is relatively delicate and if you had a little sharp piece sticking out here or a, uh, a piece of slag, it could very well cut into the uh, gasket and the end bell and uh, cause your meter a lot of damage. So, why do we install gaskets? This may look like a gasket, but it is not a gasket. It is a molded part of the liner. It's softer than the inside of the liner. It's about as soft as a gasket. If you install your meter without a gasket, you bolt that flange on there. Years later, you're gonna take the meter out for some reason, and you can very likely tear the liner of, of, the, uh, of the meter. Put a gasket on there, if something tears, it's highly likely that you're gonna tear the gasket and not the meter. So, make sure you install your meter with gaskets. Okay, so install your meter with the gaskets, the grounding rings. Uh, the meter can be rotated in any direction that you want, upside down if you want, sideways. We do recommend that it not be straight up and down, although that is an acceptable installation. We would recommend one bolt hole over, so if anything falls on the top of the meter, hopefully it glances off and doesn't cause any damage to the meter. Now, once you have the meter in place, put your equalization straps on, put the lock washer to the piping system side of the uh, assembly, and underneath the ring lug of the equalization strap. 
And this is because if you have any stray electrical currents in the water or in the pipe, hopefully when they reach, see, put the lock washer under the ring terminal. If you have any stray currents in the pipe or the water, the equalization straps should help jump that uh, current across the meter so it doesn't mess with the, uh, uh, the readings of the meter itself. Install the meter so that it is facing downstream, of course, uh, and once you are set up and the meter is tight, uh, torque your, uh, your bolts down. Proper torque values are in the instruction manual. Uh, then charge the system with water, run a little bit. So now that we have our meter installed, that's a procedure for putting this 4 inch AG 3000 meter into a piece of pipe. If you have any questions, give us a call. Thank you.